Good day. Welcome to ACSP online activity class. My name is Cromwell, Master Cromwell. I'll be teaching Social Studies P3. Today our topic is about the map of Thailand. But before we begin, let's start with some vocabulary. I hope you, you can read or repeat after me. Agriculture. Agriculture. It is growing of crops for food. Like you grow rice, uh, tapioca, and you also keep animals. Sheep, cows. Revenue. Revenue. The money received by the government or from the company. Advancement. It's a forward movement or when a society is going modern. Province. Province. One of the main parts which countries are divided. Example, Thailand has about 77 provinces. Bangkok is a province. Nontaburi. These are provinces. Next is a noun. Scuba diving. Can you repeat? Scuba diving. It is an activity. It's swimming underwater with the use of special equipment so that you can breathe underwater. The next one is snorkeling. Snorkeling. It is swimming just below the surface of water using a short tube. Snorkeling mostly, we do it in uh, not in a deep or in a shallow part of the water. Have you been to snorkeling? Pataya, Wahin? A lot. Next is capital. This is the, it, it speaks of the capital city. In Thailand, the capital city is in Bangkok. And then the weather. Weather, it is a state of the atmosphere. Was it, is it dry? Is it cold? Is it wet? Rainy? So these are the vocabularies that we are going to encounter on this lesson. Let's repeat one more time. Agriculture. Revenue. Advancement. Province. Scuba diving. Snorkeling. Capital. Weather. Now to our lesson proper. Where is Thailand located in the world map? Where is Thailand located? When we say located, it is where the place is found. If I, let's say, where is Assumption School located? It's in Samut Prakan. Where is the basketball court located? It's in the sports center. So in this same way, where is Thailand located in the world map? Let's read together. Thailand is located in the Southeast Asia. Where is it? Southeast Asia. And it is surrounded. It means there are other air places. It is surrounded by two bodies of water. These are the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea. Again, Thailand is located in the Southeast Asia, surrounded by the Indian Ocean and South China Sea. I'm going to show you a map. See? In a world map, this is the Southeast Asia. There are 10 countries that you can see. So this is where Thailand is. Thailand is located in the Southeast Asia, surrounded by the Indian Ocean, this part, and the South China Sea. This is with the Gulf of Thailand and Andaman Sea is there here. Thailand is bordered by countries in the north, Laos, Myanmar. In the east is Cambodia and in the west, 
somewhere in the west as well is Myanmar, and down south is Malaysia. So it is landlocked. So that is it. Thailand is located in the Southeast Asia, surrounded by South China Sea and the Indian Ocean. Clear? Now, Thailand is also divided. The word is divided into six different regions. What are these regions? The northern region, up north. Famous provinces like Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Mae Hong Son. And then the southern region, going down, going south, Phuket, mm. Yala, Naratiwat. Those are the provinces in the southern region. Anyway, northern region has about has nine, nine provinces. Southern region, down south, has 14 provinces as well. Now, the third region is the eastern region. Are you familiar what province is in the eastern region? Chonburi, Rayong, okay, where Pattaya is, right? In Chonburi, Pattaya, we can go swimming. It has seven provinces. The fourth region is the western region. This side. The western region, is, it has the least number of provinces, which is five provinces. The provinces in the western regions include Ratchaburi, Rachinburi, Wahin. Okay? Those are the famous provinces. Then the fifth one is the, nor the northeastern region, or the Isan region, Pak Isan. It has 20 provinces. And finally, the central region where Samut Prakan is in the central region. Okay, Samut Prakan, Assumption School, is in the central region and they have the most number of provinces, which is 22. So if you add up all together, 9, 14, 7, 5, 20, and 22, all together, there will be a total of A total of 77 provinces in all of Thailand. Remember, the capital city is in Bangkok. So this is, if you're going to see the map divided by regions, this is how it looks like. Up north, down south. Northern region, southern region, eastern region. Western region, northeastern region, and the central region. North, south, east, west, northeast, and the central region. So again, Thailand is divided into how many regions? Six. North, south, east, west, northeast, and central region. Clear. Now, Let's discuss about the northern region. What are the details if you want to know about the northern region? Let's see. The northern region of Thailand consists, it has, okay, consists of hills and forests. There's a lot of hills and forests. That is why the weather in the northern region is cold. Have you been there? Especially during winter, it's very cold. Next, the people in the northern region, they work as farmers. They grow strawberries, mostly fruits. And then there are also carpenters. What is a carpenter? Someone who builds, carpenter. And then, uh, and they work in the agriculture. Again, our vocabulary, agriculture. Growing crops, rice, and then animal husbandry, or keeping animals. And then if you want to visit the northern region, there are important places that you can find in the northern region, which is Doi Sutep and 
doi internon. Both of these structures are so beautiful. I have been there maybe about five or seven years ago. It was so beautiful. So this is, who can guess what this is? This is doi suteb. And this one is doi internon. You should visit. The next one, the next region. Now, before that, these are the provinces in the northern region. You have to remember this. The provinces in the northern region are Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Lampang, Lampun, Mei Hong Son, Nan, Payao, Pe, and Uttaradit. There are nine provinces. Now we go to the north to the, the northeastern region or Isan region. Now this region consists of it has consists of hills and mountains. What's the difference between a hill and a mountain? A hill is basically smaller and lower in terms of its tipping point, and a mountain is much bigger than a hill. So again, this consists of hills and mountains. The weather is very hot and dry. Now the people who work there are sold as well gardeners. They grow fruits, they grow uh, crops and farmers. Now, if we want to visit, there are many important places in the northeastern region. Two of which are the stone castle of Pimai. I don't know how to say this in Thai, but uh, it's quite famous one. Stone castle of Pimai, and then the city of Nakhon Phanom. There are this one, this is the stone castle of Pimai, and this is the city of Nakhon Phanom. Beautiful, splendid, right? This is the, uh, the panoramic photo of them. And then the provinces in the northeastern region, it has 20. Okay, follow with me. Read. Amnachalun, Buriram, Bunkan. Chayapum, Kalasin, Konken, Loi, Mahasarakam, Mukdahan, Nakon Rachasima, Nakon Panom, Nong Bualampu, Nong Kai, Roy Ed, Sakon Nakon, Sisaket, Surin, Udon Tani, Ubon Rachatani, and lastly, Yasuton. 20 provinces in the northeastern region. Now we go with the central region. Today we're going to just discuss three regions. This is the first part, and the next part would be the, the three other regions. Anyway, we have already discussed the northern, northeastern, and now we are in the central region. The central region consists of, it has a very large, so big and wide, flat, flat, like uh, if you see this paper, it's flat, okay? And fertile land, when, when we say it's fertile, it's udum uh, sumbun, maybe in Thai, it's fertile, it, if every time you grow plants there, it's, it's good. The crops are good because the land is fertile. Now, what makes it the land fertile? It is because there are few main rivers that flow through the central region. Abundance of water makes the land fertile. And this allows people 
to grow large amount of rice. Don't you know that Thailand is also regarded as like the rice bowl of Asia? We are top three of the top three of the ex exporters in the world. There, there is India, Thailand, and Vietnam. Okay, so we're able to grow rice and export it to other countries, and from that export, Thailand can get money or what we call as the revenue. So there you have it in the central region. Now the weather in the central region compared to the northeast, it was hot and dry. Whereas in central region, it is hot and wet. Mm. The people, of course, they are gardeners. They work in the rice fields, rice paddy, for growing rice and also there are lots of factories, so most of the people are workers in the factories or factory workers. Again, factory workers. The important places to visit. Actually, there are a lot. But your book says <laughs> there's the floating markets and the Grand Palace. Anyone who have been there? The floating market, uh, there's in floating market, Taling Chan, right? Don Wai, yes. Floating market, many tourists coming from uh, other countries would come and visit Don Wai floating market. And then the Grand Palace or Palachawang where you can see, this is the night uh, picture of it, the photo taken, nighttime. It's so grandeur, the Grand Palace. Again, many tourists come and visit this place and experience the culture, the wonderful culture of Thailand. Now, like I said, the central region has the most number of provinces. Now, the central region are divided into three major areas. Greater Bangkok area, the north central, and the south central. The greater Bangkok, of course, is Bangkok, and then its outskirts or neighboring. Next is Nontaburi, Patum Thani, Nakwan Patom, Samut Prakan, Samut Sakon, and Samut Songkram. The north central part is the camping pet, Nakon Sawan, Pichit, Pit Sanulo, Sokotai, Utaitani. And the south central part of the central region is Angtong, Ayutthaya, China, Lokburi, Nakon Nayok, Salaburi, Singburi, and Supanburi. Again, if you add together, there is 20, 20 provinces in the central region. Now, if we summarize the three regions that we have discussed, I have made a table for you to understand easily. You can freeze your, uh, or you can freeze or pause this one so that you will have a summary. Region, and what does it have? The landscape, what does it consist? What is the weather? What are the people doing? What do they do? Their occupation. What are the important places that you can find if you go there or should you visit there? And then the number of provinces. Again, northern region consists of hills and forests. It's no wonder that the weather is cold. The occupation, mostly similar. Farmers, carpenters, and they work in the agriculture. The important places are Doi Sutep and Doi Intanon. The number of provinces, nine. Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Lampang, Lampun, Mae Hong Son, Nan, Pe, Prayao, Uttaradit, nine. Northeastern region, the landscape, it consists of hills, 
and mountains. Don't be confused. Northern region, hills and forests. Northeastern, hills and mountains. The weather is very hot and dry. Compared to the north, it's cold. Now, the occupations, they're similar. They are farmers, gardeners. You can go to Stone Castle of Pimai and City of Nakompanong. Provinces, it has 20. A lot. And finally, we have the central region, which is a very large, flat, and fertile land. Again, it's fertile because there are main rivers that flow through this region that makes the land so good. Soil needs water, right? And then the weather in the central region is hot and wet. Its people are gardeners. They work in the rice field and as well as factory workers. As, as you can see, in Samutpakan region, there are a lot. Uh, Denso, Honda, Toyota, mostly are in some kind of factory areas. And then uh, important places, floating markets, Grand Palace. Near Grand Palace, there is Watpo, right? And then there is the museum. There are a lot of places. So I encourage you to visit your own places. Don't be a stranger in your own country. But do this when this coronavirus is done. And then uh, the number of provinces, 22. All together, 77 provinces. But like I said, we will discuss the second part, part two, next for the other three regions, which is the eastern region, western region, and the southern region. Today, we'll be only studying the three regions. Now. Let's see on the focus questions. For, the, for your assignment, I will be sending to you through email all the forms. But now, I'm just giving you the, the objective and the summary of our uh, lesson. First question, if you can answer, that's good. Where is Thailand located? I'm, I'm saying of the world map. Where, where is Thailand located? Yes, it is located in the Southeast Asia. Can you repeat that for me? Southeast Asia. Number two. What bodies of water surround Thailand? I'm not saying the small bodies of water like the Gulf of Thailand and Andaman Sea. The bigger one. The bigger. What are the two bodies of water that surround Thailand. You may check your book. Yes, it is the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea. Again, the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea are the two bodies of water that surrounds Thailand. The third one, how many regions divide or comprise Thailand? How many? If you're attentive enough, you could answer. There are six. There are six regions that divide Thailand. So, to continue, number four, what are those? Northern region, southern region, eastern region, Western region, Northeastern region, and Central region. All in all, six regions. Fifth question, what is the capital city of Thailand? Is it Samut Prakat? Is it Nakhon Ratchasima? Is it Phuket? The answer is, Bangkok, Bangkok. And finally, number six, how many provinces does Thailand have? 
how many provinces does Thailand have? There are 50, 60, 77. The answer is 77 provinces. So there you have it. I hope today that you have learned from these lessons the, the map of Thailand discussing about the three regions, northeastern, north, and the central region. Thank you very much. I hope you would stay at home and keep safe.